Is the new power 100 watt solar panel better than Harbor Freight? We'll make sure testing conditions are exactly the same. We'll also check out the construction of the junction box and load test each panel to see which one we can draw more from. Each one of these panels is brand new out of the box. The new power 100 watt solar panel uses more recent technology utilizing half cut solar cells. Each one of these solar cells has nine bus bars in it, which is more common in a lot of solar panels you'll see today, versus the Harbor Freight panel has been unchanged in the last couple years, still utilizing a quarter cut cell, which they have many of these on one panel, and still utilizing only five bus bars per cell. The Harbor Freight solar panel consists of 64 total cells, while looking at the new power, it only has a total of 32 total cells, so we'll see which one does better. The new power solar panel comes in at $79 at the time of this video, and has a max P voltage of 19.06 volts, and comes in about 5.26 amps, and also has a square area of 5.15 feet or 0.48 meters. The Harbor Freight solar panel comes in between $89 and $129 depending on when you pick it up and if you get a super coupon. It doesn't give much information except 18 volts, 5.56 amps, and a square area of this one measures 6.35 feet or 0.59 meters. We'll take a look inside each junction box to see the construction of it. This one here you can see that each one of the solar wires has got a crimp connection but no solder. But the solder job between each one of the diodes looks to be pretty good to me and also used an appropriate amount of solder without making it too much of a blob. The new power also uses tin copper wire and an o-ring on the back of the junction box cover. It will also come with MC4 style connectors along with 14 gauge wire or 2.5 millimeter. We'll take a look inside the Harbor Freight Junction box and again this one uses an o-ring to seal the box and when looking at the connections these ones are actually soldered versus crimped which they might as well just crimp them and then solder them to make a better connection. If we look at this solder between each one of the diodes these look okay as well but a lot more solder is used and these ones also use a tin copper wire as well so both of them using the same type along with a 14 gauge wire and also using an SAE connector for the Harbor Freight. Both of these panels were also marked with the date, that way these can be monitored for future testing down the road. Okay, so I have both of these solar panels out here and they've been out here for about 20 minutes. I set them up at the same time and we'll check the heat to make sure that they're running about even and they will get hotter as the day goes because it's only about 10.45, maybe 11 in the morning and you can see they're both within about, oh, maybe one degree or less and I also made sure that the angle was exactly the same and part of STC testing means that you should have at least a thousand watts meter square of light coming onto the panels when you do your test. And as you can see here, we're just over a thousand. Okay, so the first test is gonna be our open circuit test. So this is gonna check our open circuit voltage and this is the new power coming in at 19.88 volts. So now we'll do the Harbor Freight. And now connected to the Harbor Freight just slightly lower at 19.82 volts. Now since this one has a SAE connector, I'm actually gonna add this so I can change out test equipment sooner. So we'll test it again just to make sure nothing changes. Now the temperatures are getting hotter so our voltages are gonna drop but this is with the connector at 19.75 volts. And now we'll do one more check without it. And here we are again with the Harbor Freight without the connector at 19.74. Okay, so now I'm plugged into this voltmeter and I apologize it is hard to see because it's getting worn out, but you can see 19.61 volts. This is plugged into the Harbor Freight solar panel. And now we're plugged into the new power solar panel, so we'll see what it looks like again. And it's hard to see, but 19.76 or 19.77 volts, so slightly higher. Okay, so next test is like a load test. This is a new power solar panel plugged into an EcoFlow power station. We'll check the numbers. So again, hard to see this, but running about 71 watts at the meter and 16.20 or 16.21 volts. So about 71 watts, I'll go in front and about 75 watts on the EcoFlow power station. Okay, same test for the Harbor Freight. So now this is plugged into the meter. You can see right here, hard to see again, but look at that. 90.9 watts, 90.5. And the voltage is right around 15.66, give or take. Again, hard to see, probably time for a new meter, but take a look at the EcoFlow power station. 
and I am fighting the glare, but look at that, 95 watts. For okay, one more test. We're gonna load these and start at 70 watts and see when they shut off. I do have these high clouds that are passing by. They should be gone in a few minutes, so I'll start the test after these go away. Okay, so I have both of these set up at 70 watts and the new power is gonna be on the left and our Harbor Freight will be on the right. So you can see this is new power at 19.9 volts. This is our Harbor Freight at 19.8 volts. And we're gonna look at the top three numbers, the yellow, green, and red, but I'm gonna go ahead and start this here in a second. And again, with the glare, it is a little hard to see, but you can see 70 watts at the top. Yellow is our voltage, amp will be green, and red will be power. So again, Harbor Freight on the right. We'll let these warm up for just a second. Get some base numbers so you can see 17.9 volts. 3.9 amps and just about 70 watts and this is the new power so we'll give this a second let's look at the harbor freight slightly less on the amperage a little bit higher on the voltage all right we'll tick these up a little bit and see where it goes we'll go to 73 watts see if it holds that now 17.9 volts and 4 amps holding 73 watts 18.2 volts, just slightly lower on the amp, so we'll tick up again. Again, this is new power right here. So there's 74 back to the Harbor Freight. 74 again. And you can see the amp and voltage difference. This one here pushing out a little bit more amperage. Now we're at 75 watts. So I'm gonna tick this up again, 76. So far holding, nothing dropping off. Do the same thing, 76. And you can see this one's putting out just a little bit less on the amps, but more volts. And again, 75, 76, and 77 watts now. Go to 78. And look at our amperage, almost 4.5 amps. This one here. 78, this is a Harbor Freight, 4.3 amps, but higher voltage. Look at that, 18 volts. So this one's voltage is at least a half a volt lower, but the amperage is higher. We'll go up to 80 watts, see how long this takes before one of them shuts down from kind of drawing too much power from them. And go back over here, 80 watts. You see our voltage is still higher, but amperage is a little bit lower. And so far holding fine, go up a little bit more. See where these shut off. Maybe we'll get all the way to 95 watts. Oh, and there it goes. So this is the new power and you see where it shut off there? Our voltage dropped and so did our wattage. Look at that, 6.2 watts. So it's not really doing anything anymore. And that was at 81. And sorry, it's hard to get under here where the testing equipment is because the panel is right where the camera is bumping, bumping up against it. But we're at 81 watts now, and this is where the new power shut off. And so now looking at, yeah, see, that one's done. So new power isn't running anymore. Harbor Freight is still going at 81. We'll bump up. Here's 82. And we'll go a little bit more, 83. Look at that, still going, 84. Still holding on, no problem, 85. Not shutting off yet. And still holding good at 86. 87. We'll go up a little bit more, 88. Look at that, just keeps going. And there it goes, kind of shuts off. So right about 88, 89 watts, at least on this load test. And it would probably hold around 87, no problem. So, I mean, overall, just with the testing that you guys saw, you can definitely see the Harbor Freight won this test. Let me know what you guys think about the numbers that you saw, and is Harbor Freight just still the ultimate little solar panel, or is the new power even stand a chance? Hope you guys liked the video. Until next time.